training our machines but still there are so many things unsaid unanswered is like uh, why this particular feature let's say there is a car accident happened so intuitively we'll ask the questions um, whether it's the issue in the car there's the breakdown something fault or some other car heated or it didn't uh, recognize something these are the general question we keep on asking but while training we only focus on the methods if there is uh, some harm or something is coming like that it will turn right left something like that we are trying to uh, intelligent our system based on our thinking perspective but do we know our brain that perfectly that we are ready to train a model of course there are so many researchers going on one thing i will try like to formulate here is like uh, so we understood what is black box right we don't uh, like uh, there uh, there are so many methods we know the input we know the output but we know the algorithm as well that is the funny part but why we are choosing that algorithm and how it is working how it is working we have all the steps but why this is particularly uh, used for the use case that can be a question or we can say what are those that can be so my question is we know in our brain the cerebrum the frontal part is responsible for our different kind of language learning something like that if you remember in childhood learning a language is uh, pretty easy see my mother tongue is odia and i learned english uh, so now uh, for everyone it's like this is our second or third language something like that but still we learn that thing and we, we are trying to mastering in that subject but i want to ask you one question like there is no such rule for a ideal statement a complex statement we learned grammars we learned words we learned the alphabets then we are trying to create some patterns this words if you will see dog doc we can see uh, th there must be some pattern that's why it uh, and we relocated this thing with the object then we say okay fine this is a cat this is a dog but c a t and d o g these are only alphabets and the a uh, different kind of combination of patterns which uh, i think that moment they have performed but there is no particular rule to create a particular word but while training our machines we are giving bunch of let's say for the test classification we are giving bunch of articles like uh, there will be thousand lines something like that and we are trying to vectorize those things removing the stoppers like my the and uh, something like that we are just removing those things and then we are creating the diagrams and trigrams which can be treated as a particular words or something like that but we still don't know what this diagrams and trigrams meaning we are just creating chunks from the text but still we are unable to find is it useful for my uh, topic morphing or any kind of sta statement analysis or something like that so here i want to ask uh, you a question is like um, in early childhood we learn so many languages uh, not so many two three languages but at the end we try to formulate statements sometimes we we hear all those things from our parents from our external source like television radio uh, now it is um, internet something like that whatever you say but how we are creating how we are pre processing those words uh, those statements and creating a very chunk of big like uh, the complex statement how we are creating that that can be a black box if you want to carry on but at that moment our challenge will be like how we are going to solve it because finding formulating a black box problem or creating a problem as black box we don't know we simply say we don't know what is happening in this we don't know this may be very easy to say but how we are going to uh, solve that issue that can be very tough but here my question is like we have languages we learned words we learned a certain grammar rules and another point there is no particular generalized grammar rules for all our languages there can be uh, like sometimes uh, if someone is saying for a couple of years uh, and generation by generation we are hearing those things and it create it, it formulate as a formula something like that that we have to say in certain way we have to pronounce in a certain way but the po point is there is no particular rule for that they must have created based on some patterns they found out but when the children the baby is learning and at a certain point uh, 
she uh, is able to speak something very complex and we get stuck wow how she learned we can say anything or uh, maybe something is not affected but still so this can be a problem statement we uh, i'm trying to figure it out if you think it's not a black box issue please let me know <laughs> like uh, how can we solve these things and uh, this can be a really interesting topic uh, we should think about it but anyways uh, thank you so much for listening and i hope black box is not gonna hamper you so much in your product or any kind of analysis